You listen to the turmoil on Ebro in the morning of us just trying to do an interview with Terrence J, who's a radio professional, unlike Rosenberg. <laughs> Terrence J comes uh, from radio. He's good, man. You know, he's good at what is, he does. He's just good. Thank he's, you. No, but he is a mess. Why? Because you're a mess. I don't. I don't think I am a mess. Well, physically, I'm a mess. But no. I don't think I. No. You didn't give our guest headphones. You took <laughs> no, the headphones from, from the guest. Normally, the guests don't care about headphones. I'm very impressed and pleased he wanted headphones. I want to be involved. Terrence man. J is a radio I, guy. I, I he comes from in. radio, and now he's in Think Like a Man, too. Yeah, man. I'm excited, man. This film is huge, man. I can't wait for you guys to see it. It's uh, it's the best work I've done in my life. I'm very, very proud of this project. It's funnier than the first one. It has the heart and soul of the first one, and uh, we just can't wait for people to check it out this weekend, man. Now, tonight. And Think Like a Man, the, the first one, mm -hmm. um, you actually, I mean, you did, like, I didn't expect you to really act. Like, you really went in there with the relationship with your mom and just the whole relationship with the girl. I mean, the whole storyline about you was, I just thought you'd be in the movie. I yeah. had no idea you had acting chops like that. Yeah, I take every day, every week uh, for the last seven years, I take acting classes at Stella Adler um, right in downtown. Now I take them in L.A. I take a three-hour course. I really want to be good, man. I know people always looked at me as that, you know, the skinny, corny, goofy kid from 106. I'm very aware of, of my position in the marketplace, and I wanted to show and prove that I had other talent and other skill set beyond the way people viewed me. And I just you know, I, I just I, I look at Will Smith, I look at Kevin Hart, I look at people that are doing great things, and I just want to be good, man. I want to be great. No man, good for you. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Good for you too, because I used to get Terrence J wasted. All right, <laughs> we used to be in these streets. You still? Wait, you still out here? I mean, I'm still out I'm, here. I'm, I'm, I'm listen Ebro. With, with caution. With caution. <laughs> so, listen, if you guys want to do that, I suggest you do it this week, because Ebro, you're gonna go back to LA, yeah. and yeah. Then Ebro's having a baby August 13th, so he's about to be big quiet. Yeah, he ain't gonna be doing anything. He's gonna be quiet. He's going nowhere. Yeah. I saw a bunch of uh, your social media posts, and you know the cast, like Lala. You guys look like you have so much fun shooting the film. Absolutely. What were some of like funny behind the scenes stuff that you can share with us? Well, I sleep with all the girls on the cast. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. You know, yes. gotta chop them down, yes. make sure everybody, you know, everybody's Shut having up. a good time and comfortable. Uh, <laughs> me, yeah, me, Ew, me, me, and, uh, me and Regina especially, just oh, to get into yeah. character. Yeah. We sleep in the same bed, me, her, and yeah. Zeus the dog, you know. Uh, nah, all jokes aside, man, we... Everybody just wants this to win, man. You know, when this, the first one came out, uh -huh. this was the first film like it in, in quite some time. You hadn't seen those movies. You know, we had the Love Jones and the Love and Basketball years ago, and then there was, you know, 10, 15 year gap. So this kind of resurged it, and, and now we feel like we have something to prove again, you know? People don't think we're gonna be able to do it again, Crazy. and we, and we want to go out there and smash him. We want to put him in a chokehold. But to also talk about black film. Because now, I mean, Kevin Hart has shown, I mean, Absolutely. I know Hollywood wasn't really paying attention, but you had Tyler Perry putting out black film, mm -hmm. you had Will Smith guy, putting Tyler out Perry. his joint, that's your guy Tyler Perry now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> this guy's a scumbag. Um, but now it seems like Hollywood's like, wait, hold up. Yeah. Hold up. This social media has created a firestorm where now when black film comes out, people are going out, they buying those tickets to the box office. See, what, what this film is going to do is something very special. This is the first time pretty much ever that that a, a, a film with a predominantly black cast has been released in the middle of the summer. If you look at our small what? film, our small budget film, you've never seen a movie like Think Like a Man go up against Transformers one week. 22 Jump Street and How to Train Your Dragon the week before. We going up against Tom Cruise movies. Like, we're in a very crowded marketplace. And if we go out to the box office and support this, we want to take the stigma of black film off. Because it's it's not it's a, just it's, film. It's exactly. It's just mm. a good movie. When, yeah, a good when white movie. people do a film, you don't say, oh, that's a great white movie. You say, that's a good film. Uh, sometimes. Woody Allen. Those are <laughs> great <laughs> white movies. That's very true. Touche. White movies. Touche. Like, hold Touché. on. This film is super <laughs> white, <laughs> son. <laughs> <laughs> Why is everyone looking at me about the Woody Allen joke? Yeah, Just because you're a G. Because you're a I do love Woody. I do yeah. love Woody. <laughs> you know, Kev transcends, man. We was just down in Houston the other day. And, uh, I mean, we walked into the Yves St. Laurent store. They had to shut the door of the store. It was about 300 people just standing outside waiting to see this guy walk out the store. Yo, he's, he's on some Bieber level right now. Yo, man. what he's, is... Like, let's talk about it. Kevin talk Hart. It. Kevin Hart is... I, I, I couldn't be more proud of him. Yeah. And then at the same time, 
it's crazy his takeover. Like I said this to Lala earlier. The first movie, he was a cast member. Yeah. Let's keep it 100. Yeah. If the commercials are anything like the movie, he's now the cast member. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like he yeah. clearly, they, they made his role more important because they understand what of he brings course. to the franchise. What is it about Kevin Hart that you think people just gravitate to so much in this country? Dude, it's a, it's a beast, man. First of all, it's an underdog story. I mean, he came from paper soldiers and soul plane. He was in actor's jail for, for 10 years, grinding. Mm. He, he, he came out failed, bombed miserably, went back on I like the, to focus on, the, on that part more. You, nah, nah, the like, failures that's just hate, it's, though. Why would I hate like that? But I like that. to hate on Kevin. Why not? Well, of course I need Why to. Why would you do that? Because he can buy me and sell me, Ebro. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be taller than him. I think he's actually taller than yeah. me. <laughs> he's killing me out here. To go back and then hit the comedy circuit and pretty much start from the ground back up, build relationships, and then still have the work ethic that he has now. I've been with him the past six days straight. I mean, we land in Houston. We hit a barber shop. He'll cut somebody's hair. We'll go to Memphis. He gives out barbecue to the people. When the cameras turn off and the, and the PR reps from Sony are like, hey, you guys are done. We can go ahead and jump into SUVs. He's like, nah, we're going to stay until every single person, the last guy with no teeth, gets his photo. I love the last guy and, with no teeth. You got to love the last are, guy with no teeth. Are there wheelchair guys? Yes, there's wheelchair guys. There's, there's, every, there's all kinds of guys. guys. There's all, there's all, all there. the guys. And all Kevin's guys. waiting for all of them. Kevin's waiting for all these guys, man. And for, for, for me to be on my first, you know, big press tour like this, because my character is increased in this movie, too. Oh, really? It's really, it's it's my, I'm getting married to Regina, and Kevin uh, becomes my uh, best man. Oh, great. Okay. And so nice. it's it's about the relationship of, of Kev, you know, throwing my bachelor yeah. party, and all of the fellas getting in trouble, and all of the couples have great storylines, but it, it kind of, that's kind of the, the engine driving the, 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 the vehicle. Um, and, I mean, this guy's just brilliant, man, and I'm just, I'm humbled to be around him. Terrence J's here, Ebro yeah. in the morning, we got Laura Styles, we got yeah. Rosenberg. Yo, yesterday you said you kept saying uh, Ebro in the morning, Rosenberg, Laura Styles. I had to talk with him, so we flipped it Yeah, but it now today now. you keep saying Laura Styles, Rosenberg. What's going she on with that? She looks better than you. Thank she you. works harder than you. Thank you. And people so, like her more. Oh. oh. I don't See? think any of those are good enough reasons. <laughs> Yeah, and this is my first time. I mean, you have a brilliant voice. Oh, thank I you. I really do. I love your perspective. It's great listening. As he awesome. looks down at her low cut oh, v I didn't do block. this. No, you're a scumbag, son. Dude. Stop talking. Dude. Stop talking. I see, Ebro, like, I see Ebro in the meat pack. This, this guy really doesn't smile in real life. No. He's no, walking no. around you with saw, a book you, bag. You saw the paparazzi photo yeah, that he was putting no, no, up on Instagram. No, no, I was there. I was, I, was, I was there. He walked right past me at uh, Sephora or whatever, and the guy just doesn't smile. Even when I saw him, I was walking it took like a 30-second race. You just walked down the street with uh, your teeth showing that's what you do and he's Terrence J of course he does I do I actually, yeah, yeah, I actually do I actually do I laugh guy. all the time but yo when I'm by myself I'm straight face me and Mariah no, 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 no. nobody it's, smiling it's, it's different between not smiling the first thing I saw was like your fresh shape yo did Ebro just kill somebody <laughs> <laughs> Ebro just murdered yo you never know when these rappers run up B. you better be no. on your toes Jack so um you know our lovely sister Angie Martinez has moved on to something great for her and we would never hold her back yeah. um, but you also moved on from 106 and Park you and Roxy and that was a moment where a lot of people was like yo what they gonna do now yeah what talk about that transition and how it happened and then you know how hard was it and then obviously where you are now and in, in this think like a man too and everything like that you, you know I gotta give my my hats off to Stephen Hill Stephen Hill is is the president um, at BET and uh, he's also the guy that took me under his wings when when Stephen hired me to, to to be on 106 and Park. I was homeless. Like, I was on a couch. Like, right. they gave me the first opportunity, you know, nationally in life. So my respect goes out to them. And even when the transition happened, and it, it was time, man. We had been there for seven years. That's a young man's show. That's a young mm -hmm. man's game. It's time to bring in a fresh hot cat, like, you know, like Bow to take over. Because, mm -hmm. yo, he knows the sneakers better, the music better. You know, he's, he's, he's in it more Living than that me. life. Yeah, I, I had different goals and different things that it, that it was time for me to do. And, and Steven and I, we, we worked it out to make sure that it was a, a, a mutually beneficial and, and it was going to be advantageous for both sides and, and that it was handled, you know, with respect. And it gave me enough time to set up my next situation so that I could move right from one to the other. And it was just, it was done in, in the right way. And I, I respect BET for that. I respect Stephen Hill for that. And um, was you know, it, how, how much fear did you have? I was scared as hell, man. Especially, you know, moving out to L.A. My first deal wasn't for that long. I didn't know if I would get extended. You know, now it's been 
two and a half years. But and I, you're up for an Emmy, I'm told. Yeah, man, it's crazy. But I mean, you, you you walk into the elevator my first day, and it's like Ryan Seacrest is like walking down the hallway with like three, you know, four or five assistants, and you like, oh my god, what am I doing here? And I had to go to voice and diction classes because I had all the yeah, because you know, you're all hip hop down. Yeah, and it's I, a whole I different world. Enunciate and you gotta have your white prompt. words. You gotta oh, have yeah. your white <laughs> words. I had to get my white words <laughs> together. Guy, hey, you do it. I see him on TV yeah, sometimes. Yeah, you I'm see, like, this is not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What is he doing? And then, and then the hardest, the other part is I had this this audience established. You know, the Ter- the people mm-hmm. that know and love me as Terrence J. And then, you know, they my new teleprompter says Terrence Jenkins. And so I don't want to alienate this office, the people that grew up with me and that I love. Right. And I don't want them to think, oh my God, he went to to L. A. and got Hollywood on us. But I also have to enunciate and and talk about Austin Mahone and you Britney know, Spears and do it properly. So it, it dawned on me just now when you said your last name. You are the most clean cut Jenkins I've <laughs> ever met. You know, we're so racist, Ebro. I was in here yeah. just being like, damn, we got a good black name. That last Jenkins. name, Jenkins. Jenkins. I wish I just had. I don't know. Somewhere. There's not a white name Jenkins. <laughs> Terrence, have you yeah. ever met a white person with the last name Jenkins? <laughs> nah, Never. Nah, nah. And I think the only Washington that we've ever known that was white was George Washington. <laughs> he was the last one. He was the last one. <laughs> he was the last one. <laughs> he was the last, last one. one. <laughs> Yo, but you do a good job representing that last name. You take it to another place. I appreciate it, man. Your I, family should be proud. What's your mama saying? Uh, she's excited, man. My you think his family just, might dope. not be proud of him? Do you think I mean, that's a possibility? I'm just saying they might be like, "Yo, you sold out. You are <laughs> you talking mom, all I'm white on TV." That. I can already <laughs> picture how proud Terrence Jenkins' family is of him. He's, this guy's killing That's it. That's a Jenkins boy. But, <laughs> it's, you know, it's, it's, Jenkins it's boy. weird, man. And I, I, I feel very... For some reason, I don't get that. Like, even when I go to the... You know the hood in, in in Chicago or you know Memphis or or you know even when I we was just in Harlem the other day I don't really get that like oh my God you went and changed I get more people that's like I grew up with you and we're proud because yes. to see somebody because only people say that on Twitter and in chat exactly rooms. people you, don't talk like yeah. that in real life yeah. because it's not smart right <laughs> it's just it, like people people say dumb things on social media but in real life when you meet them they're very like wow proud of you awesome thank you or yeah. you did a great job you know because they they see a young man who worked his way up and they should be but proud also of you alluded to something earlier that i think helps protect your brand and you said earlier like i know how people thought of me mm. as the corny blah 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 dude that you knew that there were some people who said that Absolutely. but at that time you had to swallow that but then as you transition into doing something that's a little yeah. more glossy mainstream, mm-hmm. that little slight thing that people saw as corny makes it a much easier transition. Yeah. You don't mm-hmm. look like a sellout. You look like a dude who's always been doing you. Yeah, yeah. You're the same dude. Definitely. And I think Definitely. that I think that makes your your brand has always been kind Yo, of polished. Stop kissing his ass. Nah, I appreciate you. What are you gonna do? I appreciate you saying that. Now you can stay at your house in LA next week. I'll pick up from the airport. Hey, wait. Make sure to send him the Bentley. Send him the Bentley. Thank you. Terrence, you stay at the house? I was chit chatting with the girls back in the studio, and we want to know: Are you are you dating anyone? Yeah, yeah. You are. Yeah, talk about it. Who is this? Who is this person? She's just a she's a sweetheart, man. No no industry. She doesn't she doesn't she hates all the industry stuff. So you're keeping it's it super private. Super private. Super why? Private. Why super private this time around? To protect her. To protect it. You know, like the relationship. When, when you do too much, man. Yeah, I just, I'm a very normal person, man. As soon as I'm done with this big press tour, I'm gonna go back to LA and watch Game of Thrones and just yo, sit there. Just, you haven't yo, seen no, the finale. No, 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 Terrence J. <laughs> you changed. A lot. A lot. <laughs> Yo, Terrence yeah. J, thank you for coming by. And um, yeah, look, no shots at that. What was the young lady you was dating a long time who was a little bit more high profile? What was her name? Selena Ebanks. Yeah. I wanted to tell you for a long time. Oh, no, don't do this. Don't what do this. You, where are you going to go? Because I love Selena. Selena's great, you say crazy? No, she's a great girl. I just didn't think that you didn't her, her style and your style was a match. You didn't right? feel it. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel it. And I wanted to tell you Says for so long. Expert. I wanted to tell you for a long time, but I knew you was in love with that girl and you treated that girl great. Did she treat you good, my G? She did, man. So and what happened? No, nah, it was it was I'll take all full responsibility, man. I just wasn't in a place in my life where I could 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 do it. She and, wanted uh, to further things and you wasn't. I, I'm not even gonna say that. I'm just gonna say, you know, she was amazing and I appreciate my time with her. No, you know, no beef that. at all. No, absolutely. No, it shouldn't be no beef because she is a great person. Yeah, but absolutely. I was like, uh, she's, she's, she's amazing. So, Ebro, I want to get person. this clear. You never, you don't strike me as the type 
who sits around thinking about their friend's relationship. No, I like, do. I, I don't know if this no, is the I right do. man. No, I do. I do. Terrence, like I told you, me and Terrence have traveled the globe getting wasted. Yeah, with absolutely. With all type of shenanigans. This is my dude. Yeah, like, yeah. And when I, he was young coming up and girls was at him, I sometimes just, I'd be like, hey, you, I, Oh, he's all, always, always been like that. I'll but be like, yo, you can, yo, that one you can, but don't, the, don't marry that one, just, the, you know. Eh. The relate, you gotta, you know, okay. you go through things with people and, and it's all good. But right now I'm just so happy and I'm just, I'm, I'm in a great position. Okay. I, I'm with an amazing person that I love and I'm, I'm just happy, man. Marriage? I can't wait to. Uh, Marriage? Listen, man, think like a man too. It, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Because no, no, no. my character, yeah, yeah. my character married. gets married in this film, oh. and 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 yeah, my so marriage does happen. My, I, I, you get to see, you get to see if I get married or not yeah. tonight. When you go see Think Like a Man Two, which is in theaters. No, I'm so excited. I'm being serious. I'm excited to see this movie. Me I saw too. the first one by myself. I'm taking my wife this time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see this movie. I did realize something about you sitting next to you, though. Terrence J is not like you or I, bro. I say that because. Your brand, this is some advice I'm gonna give you, is so nice. You are so sincerely squeaky clean. You cannot get caught out there doing anything nuts. <laughs> like if me and Ebro, if it's someone finds a dick picture of us somewhere, yeah. it, be like, Yo, he's a scumbag. it means I nothing. Know. I'll be like, turn on the radio. I say I'm a scumbag every day. <laughs> you gotta be careful because you're such I a do, good guy. You'll break, because we all know you're a man, so you're yeah. obviously a disgusting heathen. We yeah. all are. Yeah. But if people find out about you, <laughs> they'll be like, no. no. Hey, yo, Rosenberg, oh, shut a, up. Definitely a dirtbag, definitely. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> Just protect your internet passwords. Make sure uh, clear out yeah. your... Everything you know, <laughs> scaring me. Think now. like a man, Terrence J, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, guys. Love.